Ah, uh, yes, we're back on 14.2, so now the Karma Bands come in, Malignant's Karma, with Karma buffs, allegedly very strong. Yone Band, okay. It feels like a Dokla thing to do. Thoughts on the Overwatch League exit? What were I mean? There's so much. We we did uh, we did a Four Horsemen when the Overwatch League like dissolved. Um, that you might want to watch. Where I have a lot of opinions about that. Bad management is basically the issue. But I'm I'm optimistic about where Overwatch esports can go. This feels a lot better to me. All the current bands in NA, well, they're the only one on 14.2, so that's why. The Corky ba uh, picks band's still going to be coming in. Pretty conservative. Cassante not going to take an early support here. Maybe they just ban Milio and try and take Renata. Nope, they're banning top laners. Please stop this. No, no. It, you know what's so annoying about this? It's the fact that it ch every time it flashes, all the colors change places. If it, if it, if it, if the colors weren't changing, this would be okay. But like all the colors changing around really fucks with my eyes. So Keen has played this. He played it into Udyr, though. It shit on Udyr. Ultra Zoomer content? What, all those people who don't watch this broadcast? So their plan is to appeal to people who aren't watching with this kind of content while driving away their current audience. Great plan. You need to actually get the Zoomers to watch it before you do that. Answer if, if Cassante tries to... Uh some Cassante stuff to you, but the Ivern is definitely something that's been overlooked a lot. On also, seizure warning. Like, I don't know how that doesn't... Surely that can't be good for people with epilepsy. He is thriving. Ivern right now, definitely a super, super uh, complimentary jungle pick here to a Calista. It's the Azir duo carry from energy. So a lot of my focus is going to be on Palafox's Azir here, because he's going to be the one that's creating a lot of space for NRG. And is we're talking about what they're going to need to win these team fights. It's kiting back on Darius that is going to be my focus. What were the Darius buffs this patch? It's like mana on Q. I have to look up Darius real quick. Hold on, guys. Because I'm trying to refresh my memory. I don't remember this entire patch notes. Uh, mana cost reduced by five at all levels on decimate heal increased based on, uh, enemies hit by the blade missing health. So missing health from 15 to 45% based on number of enemies. Okay. And apprehend armor pen increased by 5% per level. All right. Well, I mean, so you see the Sejuani, you see the Darius. I think it's going to be on Palafox here to be uh, strong in this game. He's, if he's weak, then it's going to be really Kovac Evic. I don't know how to say your name. Are you a Darius main? Is this how you have this memorized? We can go more in depth on the Darius buffs that actually did happen. They were really tank focused as well for tank matchups. Okay. Because the bun yes. and Darius. <laughs> Not surprising, though. I mean, this feels very Bwipo, obviously, to try and win lane hard and transition that into advantages on the map. Yeah, of course it's Flash Ghost Darius. What else would it be? After the broadcast for some AMA and a gameplay. So depending on how this game goes, y'all might want to ask him 
answer some questions about the uh, Darius uh, matchup. Definitely going to be a spicy one coming into this game. Everyone get out your notepad now. Uh, <laughs> Start writing down these questions mm -hmm. as, as mm -hmm. we progress through the game. Uh, Dukla, what happened level one? Uh, I noticed that Bwipo <laughs> was behind you in your jungle. Minion Looks like he has not been scouted there. Bwipo doing some good uh, intel work here versus a Ivern jungle. Ivern jungle is always one of the really frustrating ones for most junglers to play against because you can have an extreme... Ah, uh, yes, the pauses. Uh, okay, good. extra shields, and especially if you're running a Callista rail lane, it's just like this early Ghost Ignite? Should be... Uh, not at the professional level. I don't think it's necessary. Ending up towards bottom side really early on, but Whippo has some ideas. And I like the fact that you're talking. And of course, now I'm back because we can't have standardized mini map sizes. We have to have the mini mini map in LEC, whereas all the other regions use the normal size mini map. Just absolutely fucking obnoxious, if we're being honest. I mean, we saw some of this earlier today with the Yone. Coming in from Zeus, just really good level one invades. And there's a couple things you can do here. So, you know, if you if you see the Ivern, right, he's trying to ward. He's trying to ward because he wants to know if the Ivern is like three camping bot into ganking top lane. But he just decides to send it with Ghost. Force Flash. Level 2 gank from Inspired. Literally just took blue buff. Oh my god, really? He was actually in range for the rend. Oh! This is my kind of game. No false clears, Captain Flowers. <laughs> Son of a... Uh, they're not happy about it. Uh, uh, now we have a, a Whippo one as well. The witch inspired... Like, I'm coming, fire comes down right after blue buff. This, I, mean, I guess they're just going for the all-in, because at this point, we didn't see this, but who he does go on to Masu here. And I'm trying to figure out at what point in which Sejuani is walking down. It's going to be after blue. Yeah, yeah, of course. Having Whippo up there, B3... First blood enter you so far this split, so it's a great reminder of just how. Uh, so because this, like they've been week one, this is so important. Just like the little advantages that you get if you're like really little. What is this? And roll that. Hear what Doublelift had to say specifically. That I was really impressed with in a pretty aggressive lane matchup. All right, we actually have double lifts. I believe we got the clip of Doublelift talking about it. So since we're still in the pause, let's go ahead and roll that. Hear what Doublelift had to say specifically. Let's just say like you're playing bot lane in a little, little mini game, like okay. mini games being like pushing the wave and resetting at the right time, getting your wave in a good position for a gank, getting a good trade off. Every bot lane is like playing for this thing, right? And and so like really what matters is like player skill a little bit more. Okay, it's not even relevant to this game. Cool. You think we saved all that time in breaks just so we could sit here for 1,000 hours of pauses? Just get the hell because you saw the Darius come over the wall. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes you can be tempted to get a little bit greedy. Think, okay, what if I just uh, throw the root collar at him and try to walk away? But no, he's ghosted. He already took the blast cone. Just get the hell out of town. You're not you're not getting away from this guy. And ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce the pause has been resolved. Get this sepia filter out of here and let's get back into some League of Legends. Energy versus fly. Bubba thought XP bugged there because he wasn't going to hit two on that wave. Is that what it was? seconds into the game tied up one to one inspired and masu still down here in the bot lane health bars low but with fbi having been killed they're not too worried about who yeah they just got to finish zero minions for fbi here, uh, <laughs> because the wave is going to be in a kind of a tough low key i mean the the scuffle in bot lane actually kind of saved contracts jungle because Inspired had to go down to bot side, which meant that he actually couldn't play as aggressively as he would have wanted, I think, into the Ivern after Bwipo got, got him an advantage. And it was just such a large wave 
for both Masu and Inspired to clear that he was able to come here for the bulk of the wave. Yeah, I think it's actually pretty great for FBI because yeah. he got the Renge first blood and then he comes. Meanwhile, somehow Masu has one CS. About who he is. Yeah, they just got to finish pushing the wave in here. Uh, so and then he has to recall kind of a hilariously Andres comes over after stealing that red to make a pass on Jensen. But it's just going to be that. Man, that's rough, too. Lose too much. I think, uh, he gets his recall delayed. After stealing that red to make a pass on Jensen, but it's Masu knows that brush is warded, though, right? Oh, fuck, I have to go all the way back through this pause. Fuck Riot. Trying to get them started out early, trying to get some summoner spells down for themselves. But knowing that they had full vision on the camp and start having to, usually you're worried about your jungler giving up other you know, camps, getting counter, ganks like that. I guess maybe he doesn't know it's warded because nobody autoed him while he was in that brush. End up costing him low summer spell. Cave in here. Nice. Actually pretty great for FBI because he got the range first blood and then he comes back and... It's actually huge that that recall is delayed. Now the wave is frozen. Oh, man. Hashtag fuck right. easily be able to get all of his channels blue side camps as well. So the Ivern should be in a very nice position to be able to end up back towards that bottom side like we stated earlier. And then now them having such a good, you know, minion wave state. Uh, uh, how's the wave push? But he has zero CS because they were fighting the entire time. Nobody got CS. Because it was just one giant fight. Yeah, I would expect to see energy playing around that bottom side like you're talking about. Top lane, you could see it was Whippo with early control over the lane. Crash Feels really good for NRG, though. The turret. Farm still even between the two of them. Ivern should have been totally gimped in the jungle, and now it's actually Inspired who's really gimped as a result of this. And they didn't even really get an advantage because both AD carries got kills. So instead, you know, Sejuani's really behind right now. You, you didn't translate the early play, so NRG probably feeling very good in this game so far. Yeah, FBI also got first blood. He's 20 CS up. He's going to be a lot of XP up. It's level 3 to level 1 for Busio. Ivern is ahead now. You're not getting any advantage in the top side. You can't even Sejuani gank top side. Remember that uh, Inspired started bot side, so presumably so he could path top to try and give Darius some edges. Two, a level three versus three, three, and four. The levels absolutely in energy's favor. But FlyQuest have had this knowledge for a good while now. So it looks like energy's going to go ahead, call this one off. Jensen is back in base now, just took his recall. So he would be able to teleport down even if he needed to. But instead, he will just return back into the mid lane. As Dom, Dom had a stroke watching this game. Why? <laughs> because of this scenario? I mean, it's like... Inspired tries to help bot side, but somehow they just end up even further behind. I, this is this is jungle hell, dude. This should have been like the freest game ever in the jungle, and instead, you're just getting shit on. Because he felt what Inspired did this game. <laughs> yeah, I would be mega triggered. This is this is jungle hell. You think it's going to be so easy. You think the Ivern's behind. You're like, hell yeah, my top laner's not an idiot. He's going in. He's using his advantages. He blew Ivern's flash, delayed him. Then all of a sudden, like, I have to walk back because Masu and Busio instigate a fiesta instead of just backing off the wave. Like, you're not going to win versus Rel and fucking Callista at level one with Renata Glass Varus, right? You both have Halo Blades, except Rel is a lot more useful. Whatever, Mass is a rookie. It's tough to deal with, man. It is what it is. There were there were definitely going to be some of these games for FlyQuest. Hopefully he can learn from it. Jensen isn't even six. Not that it matters. Stuff. Like because they got yeah. buffs in this season, the items are actually still very good. They're cheap. Good run by who he Palafox is zoning out. He knows that Palafox is six. He knows it. And yet and yet and yet and yet and yet and yet. 
Jensen tries to get away. Who he ends up taking the kill, but it's energy up two to one. What a great roam from who Holy shit, tonight. Jensen, dude. Very good. They're cheap and they're good. What is this? That's tough to deal with, man. Especially when it's 39 to 16. And like, do you know what his ear does? He has the angle on you. You W to the side, but who he's there because you don't know where he is because there's pressure in bot side and you don't know where contracts is and you just get flash followed. I mean, he wasn't safe even if Rel didn't leave, guys. Okay, so let's imagine Rel isn't there. Okay, Rel isn't there. 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 Rel didn't do anything. Rel did a small amount, but he still would have died just to Palafox with contracts coming. I'm sorry, like, Rel is not essential to getting that kill. Making his way down here, plants some brush underneath the turret. Who he drawing that turret aggro a little before he would have liked to. Palafox about to show up. Boostio still level three, and who he goes for the in game for the crash down. Surely he will die here. Surviving with a bailout. This could go real bad. Real what? Palafox all Fox about to feel like it's keep going. <sighs> all right, contracts making his way down here. Plants some brush underneath the turret. Who he drawing that turret aggro a little before he would have liked to. Palafox about to show up. Boost. Okay. Who he drawing that turret aggro a little before he would have liked to. Palafox about to show up. Boost you still. I mean, he's got cleanse. Masu has cleanse, so he just cleanses the stun from Rel. So why isn't contracts taking aggro? Why isn't Ivern taking aggro? He is a ranged champion. He is a ranged champion. Why is contracts not taking it? Why is it who he? Why is it who he? Who he flashed for the engage. He doesn't have flash to get out. Contracts is a ranged champion. And he has flash. Level three and who he goes to the end game for the crash down. Surely he will die here. Surviving with a bailout. This could go real bad, real fast. There's Palafox. Gonna get a two for one on that one. Energy a bit too. How go the bangers? Badly. These NA games are bad. Palafox has to stay in there a little bit longer to be able to secure the kill after the bailout. And so then they end up getting the kill under the Zero. Why? Why is Ivern not taking tower aggro? Is happening. I look. Look. I I like the fact that they're, the fact that they're going for that dive. Even if you trade back on the kill, you deny a lot of CS. You deny the enemy CS, so he still has fifty percent of the CS. This is fine. Like Daisy just fucks up Masu. Who he again does not have flash, so he can't get out of it. It's still worth though. It's still worth. Five to four in energy's favor. A complete catastrophe. At least that fly quest is somewhat trading back, but overall, SCI is getting a huge lead off of it. Even with the kills going back and forth, fifty-five to twenty-six. Masu is struggling, trying his hardest to keep alive here. Level six for FBI. Level four for Masu. Close to wasted mana. I couldn't R rel. Oh really? Oh, you're so right, actually. I didn't notice that because FBI hit six here off screen. And he was using Rend. Oh, 
<laughs> that's a good that's a good JPEG. That's a good eye right there. That's funny. That's funny. That's a good observation. Who he's just laughing. <laughs> it's still okay though. FBI is getting a huge lead off, lead off of it. Even with the kills going back and forth, 55 to 26, Masu is, is struggling. He's two so levels down still. Level he has no CS. FBI, level four for Masu. It's just hard for him to stay in lane. Bot lane banger, oh, y'all. This is a fun one. Mid lane's getting a little bored, so they want to get in on it too. <laughs> Let's get some, uh, some deeper trading going on. Now, neither mid laner does have flash, so honestly, junglers could think about making their moves here. Palafox is sitting on the Azir ultimate, so um, Jensen does have to be a little bit cognizant of that and keep his, his W key ready. 2,000 gold lead at eight minutes into the game is absolutely massive, and a huge culprit for that is going to be your farm differences in both the jungle and AD carry roles. It's plus 25 for FBI and plus. <laughs> You're checking Dom's video on this game. He started screaming at one point. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll just trigger him on power spike this week. But thanks for letting me know that he was tilted by this game. He is pretty tilt inducing. People were wondering how is it gonna do? Energy, man, they won last split. They're changing the roster. They're adding Huhi back in. Huhi's been on a rampage. So much of it. This game has been bottom lane game. They're the ones who opened up the possibilities. Man, they Corky's for FBI and plus even more. Let's take a look at this one again. Okay, Jensen's there. Absolute control there as Jensen gets engaged on yet again. Who he is Corky's mortal enemy here as Jensen tries to get away. The <sighs> ticking down and the soldier finishes the job there in both the jungle and AD carry roles. It's plus Dude. for FBI and plus even more. He's literally just standing there looking at the rel in melee range of the minions because he's trying to Gatling and Foss bomb the whole wave. So who he literally just walks up to him and shits on his face. Is the four horsemen still happening tonight? It's not happening tonight. It's happening on Friday. Split, they're changing the roster, they're adding Huhi back in. Huhi's been on a rampage. So much of it, this game has been bottom lane game. They're the ones who opened up the possibilities for contracts to get so far ahead in jungle. Uh, and, and Ivern really paying them back. So much pressure down here on the bottom side. Huhi wait, 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 wait. This is the narrative we're going with? That bottom lane opened up the opportunity for contracts to get ahead in jungle. <laughs> Thank you, Fupus, for your subscription. This is the narrative we're going with. Not that Masu and Busio took an ill-advised all ill-advised all-in at level one that caused Inspired to have to walk into bot side at level two and just fuck up his entire jungle. Cause like that's the th I would blame this on Busio and Masu. <laughs> like, we're giving FBI and who he props for this as if it wasn't Busio and Masu who like made this decision and who, FBI and who he were like, yeah, sure. We'll take the fight. Once again, it's a constant cycle. Palafox is also looking, but even though he's being seen on wards, there's not much that FlyQuest can do to stop them. Before I said he saw Jensen on Corky and put $3,500 on energy. But can they fight it back? Well, we got Daisy leading the charge. Who he's going to go in for the crash down. Shattering strike sets it up, but FBI's under pressure. Inspire can't do it up, though. FBI pulling who he back. I mean, this guy is, like, galactically bad at Corky Jensen. The charge. Who he's going to go in for the crash down. Shattering strike sets it up, but FBI... All right, now we're able to disengage the turret aggro by using Callista ult. Save his support and himself at the same time. Gorky just mid lane. Palafox fucking everywhere on the map. Inspire just dying. No, 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 no. Surely, surely no. Surely we're not TPing to that turret. Surely we're not doing that. He finally, he pushes up, finally recalls, and then... He doesn't even recall. He doesn't even base, guys. He could have done this at any time. Why is he choosing to do it now? 
Oh no, he couldn't have. His TP was on, his TP was on cooldown, and then he doesn't actually base, and he just does this. He could have just pushed mid and gotten a plate or two plates, and it would have been the same as that kill, except he would have still had TP. He could have recalled and bought. Now he didn't even buy, and he's just stuck in this fucking lane. Uh, like, look. He doesn't have TP yet. Just, just take the plates. Just take the plates. You have a ward. They're not coming. No. Come on, man. Just take a plate or two. That's guaranteed gold, not maybe gold if you get a kill. But in the end here, it honestly looks like it's going to be a really big snowball for energy. After that victory on bottom side again, they're just going to have Palafox shove the wave out. They rotate their mid. Time for Jensen's package, guys. Through or their bottom and support up through mid lane here to be able to position for some grub takes as well, I presume. Here's another look at it, though. Who he's able to finish off the kill does take a lot of tower shots and has to end up dodging the last rocket here, I believe. So shield is going to save him for now and then going to throw one more rocket. Walks a little bit to the side there. We're not done. We got supports back in mid lane yet again. This is a bloody game of League of Legends, and the blood ends up flowing. Uh, he didn't have TP. He didn't have TP for most. And he literally TP'd the second he could TP into that bot lane, I think. Gold lead 10 minutes into the game. And this is a reminder of why Callista has just been permanently bad. <laughs> Up until this week, where now we have to be scared of a few more picks, is when you start snowballing, okay. you're going to be a problem, but they're locked in FBI. FBI? Well, I think you may have cast or cursed him, or maybe not. They throw out the hostile takeover, but it ain't enough. Bucio is going to be taken down. The bailout will not save him. Oh. It was all a bait, guys. It was a clever ruse. <laughs> it wasn't an int. I mean, look at what they use, though. They they throw everything they have at FBI here. Chain of corruption. He starts to hop away, flashes away, who he engages. Busio throws out Renata ult. FBI gets hit by it, but he just attacks a ward because there's nothing close for him to actually auto contracts comes in right gives him a shield summons daisy and then because palavox has tp but jensen used tp on the bot side he's able to come in flash scoop two out and everybody dies Meanwhile, like the the net result of top lane is that they don't have a TP for the mid and late game, and uh, they are seven CS up on Darius. You pink, you pink, uh, ward your feet if you see Renata ult coming. I actually don't know if that works. Like, maybe you only attack wards if there isn't a champion, an allied champion on, in auto range. Like, it might prioritize other things besides the ward. Do you guys know? I actually don't. It prioritizes champions. I would assume that would be the case. So I don't think that would work. Yeah. Otherwise, we would, we would have already seen a bunch of teams trying that. You know, it's like, because we already see people like, you know, spamming wards on Thresh Lanterns and shit. I'm sure we would already see people like trying to drop pink wards if that was the case. 
that they have Ivern coming behind him. So even though the hostile takeover hits, it just causes FBI to sit there auto attacking the ward. And Hoogie basically takes care of Lucio um, and finishes it off. And then once Tal Park teleports in, the genius midfielder himself does get the sweep back for two more kills. Frustration on the face of Masu. It's it's not <laughs> easy, man. The Huhi having the exact opposite. It was just a reaction. troll. He's loving his performance in this game. A tale of two bottom lanes. <laughs> and we're not gonna stop there. Who he might not be so happy after this one. The three man surprise attack. Nah, they got TPs. He's still alive? Wow. Inspired so sad. For energy. Who he had no right to get away there, but the man did it anyway. Whippo. Now that Hey, maybe we should just win on both sides of the map at the same time. That sounds fun. Okay. Killed him during the ult animation. He can leave the ground. Energy is just getting everything. Whippo's being treated like a cage beast in the top lane. Who he's having a very lucky game. Well, in some ways. In other ways, we could say he died because contracts were free, refused to take tower aggro, and he died because FBI didn't have enough ult mana to ult him out. So, it's it's been it's been up and down. <laughs> He's gotten very unlucky as well. Shut down, all right? Huh? The light at the end of the tunnel there <laughs> is starting to show up. This one is ridiculous how who he decides to go back in and then simply with his aftershock, with his shield that he gets, he's able to even walk out after re engaging to set up for the teleport from Dokla down and allowing them to get the extra kills. And then they're just making moves all over the map. Daisy's gonna be able to really cause some problems with Whippo here because the knockout comes through even though he does get this Q and then he goes for the ultimate dies in the air with the extra damage so it doesn't go <laughs> off and he knows this is how this game has gone already with the first <laughs> <laughs> dude I'm loving these who he replays though these are great he was even strong enough to survive the caster curse it looked like we were talking about all his fun and it was about to end and then he lives with one HP for I, I literally do not know how. It's I that, actually do not understand. It's that meme of the bus and... Well, never mind. We're going to have another fight we, here. There's no time for the bus unless it's the one running over top of Wimbo. The pain train has arrived. And who he is the conductor. Energy is completely taking FlyQuest off the rails. Yeah, that bus is packed with NRG members and their fans. <laughs> it's a party bus. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, man. And it's going to be a Rift Herald, too. So that I think the Rift Herald is the bus. So uh, anyone who wants to hop into that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Who's going to be the bus driver? Because not me. I'm not very good at it. Yeah. It, it, uh, <laughs> you're the jungler, sir. That's, uh, it's hard yeah, Flower is a very good caster. Uh, the Rift Herald's not as easy to drive as it looks, I don't think. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it it is as as easy as it looks to drive, but Palafox... In a little trouble here. The burst isn't enough. He throws out the wall, but a nice shot from Masu to pick him up. The shutdown. Every single bit of gold these boys can get, they need right now. Uh, I'm going to be the FlyQuest hype man now. Okay. It's crazy that no fly, uh, towers have actually gone down yet, given all the action. And we have 22 kill or 20 kills in 16 minutes. Yes, Darius was a, a, a counter pick. Too, when you are so far ahead, you start easing up a little bit. Exactly. Start goofing around. I, we, we saw those images of the NRG members, is all I'm saying. So that, just keep playing. Uh, yeah, find true. plays cross map. That's my question. Hope they start happy game. gaming. Uh -huh. yes. That's your win con. Just a happy moment. Hope this just energy one. just plays a little too happy. Energy being lulled into a false sense of confidence here. Okay. With their, with their giant <laughs> early game lead, and they're not going to see the fly quest bounce back coming. Well, Dokla first item rushes a thorn mail to deal with both the damage and healing of the Darius as energy stepping up, running the Herald in mid. Nobody's going to drive it. They're Aww. just going to put it on autopilot, That's let it tragic. crash right into the first turret. Will no they put it all the way up to the second charge? Uh, does his ear soldiers uh, proc fleet footwork? Yeah, it was changed so it procs on hit. So procs on hit, sand soldiers proc on hit stuff now. So that's why you see most Azir's going fleet footwork. 
constantly. So the one play they tried to find on the FBI, who he was in range, uh, it, it was, of course, we already saw. We saw that energy got the Herald. I think in the bottom lane constantly. Yeah, I Ivern's not the biggest fan of Grub, and since they were the winning team, that that, <laughs> that probably like, checks yeah, out. Yeah, right. That stands to reason. Uh, just keep camping bottom lane. Much yep. better at that. Pop Daisy, you saw how annoying in a lot of those tower dives it was. Even though Contracts is at 200 HP, you can't really enter it. Just pops Daisy over the wall. Daisy gets in there, does the dirty work. Oh boy, speaking of doing the dirty work, let's see what happens to Whippo down here. Doak was ready to go in on him. Whippo trying to get away. Kite these guys out a little bit. Dokla goes all out. Palafox provides the damage and they kill him before he can duck. The Darius pick not working out the way they were hoping, at least not with the rest of the map collapsing as it has. That's the FBI just defending the top lane tier one, but man, side quests are having. That's the most tragic part about this game. We didn't even get to like test this Darius pick. It's, no. uh, it's, not, your, it's not your fault at all, Darius pick. Uh, this, this game uh, is a classic <laughs> top lane looking at the rest of the map. And it is what Everything it is. is on fire. <laughs> you're just trying to tell the team it's fine, it's fine, come back, you know. Well, uh, do you need a DPD? I don't have it, so <laughs> I can't help you out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't get you, so. Uh, you need a TP? That. Well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a TP, please call my friend Corky over in mid lane. Hopefully he can help you. I'm going to be down here fighting Cassante for the next 20 minutes. 6,000 gold lead for energy. Baron on the table here. Truly, energy wins this one, right? Seconds. I mean, it'd be terrifying if they didn't win the game from this position. Super fan, what's okay. the play? What do you do other than hope that FlyQuest, or other than hope that energy turn their computers off? Experience, okay. okay. He always remains focused. He can scale. He's on the Corky. His Muramon is about to transform really soon here, so. Okay. Yeah, but he's far away from Malignants. Mm -hmm. And then. He needs then like <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah, in order for this to work. Okay, so hopefully Yeah, this is the last game for today. On the Muramana here real fast. He's already got the Eclipse, so plenty of poke power on this dude. Yeah, you want know really annoying is that We'll come back with more games tomorrow. Never you fear. We're going to we're going to say Contracts is going to have some really bad positioning and just be away from the rest of the team, and we're going to poke some people down without shields. How about that? Yeah, usually you get Malignant second. One turret up here in the top side. The only one of the tier ones left standing for FlyQuest. The game's looking very heavily in Energy's favor right now. Oh. Uh, let us know who you want us to interview if Energy can lock this away, like they seemingly should be able to. Don't flower on Energy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm the FlyQuest super fan, oh, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep your options open, Flowers. Okay, all right. We've got a couple of FlyQuest faithful here on the capture desk, but yeah. it's Energy starting up the Baron before 21 minutes. They are daring FlyQuest to come and meet them in open ground. Baron already down to about half HP. Remember, Energy also has Callista. That's a lot of control over this as Dokla goes over the wall. He's going to be trying to deal with Inspire, keep him away, guarantee this fight secure the objective. There it is. Inspire's already dead, too. He had to try to go in and do something, but all he did was die. Mosu's your next target is who he's into the back line. A double kill over to Palafox as Busio falls. Jensen in the back. Jensen in the dirt. And Energy <laughs> absolutely rolling a power oh, and it dunks. Nice shot over the wall coming in from Mosu to help Whippo get it done. But now Whippo's got to be careful. Who he chasing after Mosu is FBI can just kite Whippo. Yeah, I think, I think one of the problems here is that you just want to prioritize AP damage on Corky because you have Darius and Varus, right? And so Malignant second just seems like the better play. Oh, who he with a massive engage. Oh, pop him back in. Does miss, but whatever. It's so far ahead, doesn't matter. Zoomer bot lane completely trolling this game, guys. The, the zoomers and the bot completely trolled this game. 
He has TP and everything. Different abilities here. They will be seen. I just know, don't know which ward they're going to be able to fight for. Answer, I think none. Yeah, I mean, okay. and energy, energy <laughs> just has such a good Baron setup with it. Also have a really good turn. Energy are doing it. Is dead for shields are going to take care of that life quest are trying to do you think chances we're just getting to whenever this soul slash next baron is taken Alright, Baron's back up. Maybe a big delivery is what they need right here. Sell this package for me. Uh I am not part of the FlyQuest fan club on this one, man. I don't think these guys have much of a chance in this game state. So I think that package is gonna be just chucked onto the porch all the way from the side of the road. I don't think it's gonna land where it needs. Who he the real hero of this game, who he and Palafox. Oh my god, the combo of Rel and Gage. <laughs> Whippo gets a kill. But it will cost him his own life to do it. FBI's in a killing stage option together. And And finally the torment has ended. What a silly game from FlyQuest. Damn. Absolutely sent this game at level one. But at least I got to watch who he laughing a bunch. That that did spark some amount of joy.